Hey everybody, Matt Brown here from Pettycook School of Martial Arts. Uh, I'm driving home from an appointment and uh, today is Thank You Thursday. And uh, I wanted to give a shout out to a couple people. Um, one person actually, I gotta kinda keep it anonymous, but um, we recently rescued two cats. Um, my family did, and uh, a pregnant female and a, and a, and a male cat. And uh, we were looking for a home for the male cat and someone, I just went to my eye doctor's appointment and someone at my eye doctor's appointment said, oh, well, I'll take him. And so we found Ziggy, that's his name, a home, not having to take him to the animal shelter. And then earlier this morning, we want to keep the pregnant female uh, baby and, you know, have her have the babies and foster them out and whatnot. And um, a, a good friend of mine stepped up and you know, gave us some money to help us, you know, with the medical bills of taking the cat to the vet and getting it fixed up. And uh, without even asking, just offered it. And so it kind of confirms my belief that if you have an attitude of gratitude and you're thankful to people and you do the right thing, the right thing comes back to you. And you do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Um, Mother Teresa has a uh, wonderful uh, uh, poem that's at the Children's Hospital in Calcutta. And I don't have it memorized, but I have a copy of it hanging up in our house on the wall and at the doge of the wall. And it's basically said, do it anyway. And one of the things is that it basically says, you do things because it's the right thing to do. Not because you're gonna gain something, not because um, you're gonna look favorable in people's eyes and things like that. You simply do it because it's the right thing to do. And I firmly believe that when you do the right thing, the right thing comes back to you, um, sometimes tenfold. It may not be immediately, it may not be right away, but in, in the martial arts, one of the things we do is we teach, you know, to give confidence and strength and, and discipline and all the gifts that the actual training, the hard forge of training gives you. And um, that's, you know, we should give back. That's what we should do. There's an old saying, you know, to surpass the master is to repay the debt. So as a student, we want to train to the point that we can surpass our teachers and then pass along their teaching. And that's a way of giving back. So I want to say thank you to the, the people today that so generously gave of themselves. And uh, everybody have a great day. Remember, have an attitude of gratitude. Train hard, inspire others, live life to the fullest. Peace.